Yo, what up, people? Smith, so motherfucking are here today, of course, to give you guys One Piece episode 617 motherfucking review. And guess what? Guess what? Caesar got sent by y'all. Oh my god. And, and Virgo, Virgo, you my nigga, but no, no, fuck that shit. Law, for the law fucked your ass up. Virgo, your ass got cocky. No, fuck that shit. Law said, mm -hmm. your ass done, son. Mm, mm, got too cocky. Got way too cocky. You're strong and all, but man, nah, got too cocky. Basically, the situation is basically, right now, we got Virgo, and he's basically cut up into pieces, just placed across, like, a fucking rail. Because he, like, fucking charged, like, legit, with half his body gone after Law. Just fuck, Law was like, fuck that shit. Cut the nigga into pieces. Virgo's like, uh, uh, you're about to die. And this is key. He said, you do not know Dolph Flamingo's past. Remember that. Because niggas tripping about it right now in the manga. Or they should be, but they're not. Fuck it. But yeah, we don't know what Dolph Flamingo's past is. But Virgo says that you, you don't know about it, so you're going to lose. What could be his past? That That's the question. And Law was like, fuck that shit. Cut that nigga's head clean in half. Virgo stopped talking. I'm assuming he got knocked the fuck out. Oh, well, yeah, like, I do realize that his his attacks do not do damage and all that. But, I mean, come on, like, getting your, getting your head cut in half, the trauma behind that. Oh, my God, then. I don't know, though, because I've seen dudes get their head cut off by law, and they're still, like, <gasps> they're, they're reacting and shit, like Virgo was, but we never seen anybody's head get cut in half. Just, Virgo stopped talking. He's like, like, legit. And basically, law says this bitch is about to blow up soon. Peace the fuck out, Virgo. See you in hell. And walks the fuck out. And then we got, of course, you know what? I, I, want, I want to do Usopp right now. Usopp. No. Right before we stop, let's knock out Sanji. Sanji's mad jelly because Zoro is carrying Tashigi. And Zoro's running towards all of them, which means that they're going the wrong way. Of course, it's fucking Zoro. She let me down. Zoro, fuck that shit. That'd be too much of a pain. Sanji, this motherfucker over here got... Oh, who said you could carry this bitch? Oh, fucking Zoro, fuck you. That's basically how Sanji is right now. And so they're running from this gas all together now. And then, of course, we got Chopper with the little girl. He's trying to save her life. They're moving her, her body. There we go. And we got Usopp. And Usopp, yes. Usopp laying it down with the captain. Fuck all you. Who the fuck you niggas think you talking about? That's my captain. I'll fuck you at y'all. At first, Luffy was be Of course, Usopp was being his, you know, normal cowardly self. Like, strategically sitting back and watching. That's what he likes to do. It from a hidden position. In the entire time, I'll get into that later, but basically, then, after certain stuff happens with Luffy and Caesar, Usab gets up on top of the fucking table, he's like, yo, we're doing this shit. Our captain's gonna fuck this nigga up. This is the type of nigga he hates. Mm. I'm like, oh, your captain, he just ran away. Mm -mm. Usab's, oh, hell no. It's go time. I'm like, Yes, he, he actually does have his brave moments, and I enjoy that. Usopp is being, like, somewhat, like, yo, you fuck with my captain, I'll fuck your ass up. Like, like yo, Usopp's showing some loyalty, which is something I'm digging because, let's be honest, I mean, there was that whole Water 7 incident, and then then after that, the loyalty's been kind of like, uh, but he, he's been, most for the most part, all for Luffy. But now his loyalty is like set. Like, don't you talk shit about my captain. You know, he's actually being brave against all these niggas with guns. That's not the Usopp we know. And I'm digging this sort of improvement. He's still the same old him. It just, he, sometimes he has these manly moments. And I'm digging that. And then the meat of it. Luffy versus Caesar. Luffy, oh my god, this nigga. Basically, Caesar, Caesar's doing his mad crazy shit. Open the vents. But, but sir, but sir, if you open the vents, hundreds of men, I don't give a fuck. Open the fucking vents. 
It's like, oh no, Master, he isn't who we think he, him to be. In the people in the control room. Oh, Master, he's in... Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, I got an idea. What if he's doing this as an act? <gasps> Master's the greatest! Yeah. And then, Gaz coming in. <sighs> Just picture being one of those niggas, like... Why? Why did you do it, you motherfucker? Fuck you, fuck you. Fuck you, Jefferson, I know it was you. Fuck you. Like, like legit, like... I could just... Then basically, Caesar started using his ability, his gas gas fruit ability, and started absorbing with Shino Kuni to make his, like, ultimate form, which is, like, a giant-ass ghost monster. Like, legit, like, haunted. Like, ah. Oh. What, what did they call it? Um, fucking, um... I believe it was Gasper from fucking, fuck, fucking Pokemon. That, that ghost motherfucker. Oh, my God. Well, legit, Caesar clown rocking that. He has, like, a scary face moments where... Where it's like, ah, uh, like this black fucking, like, purpley face, like, that looks like a fucking hair monster. And he's like, yeah. And then all of a sudden his face comes together and you're like, ah, oh, fuck. Like, can't you go back to the hair monster, bro? Like, because his face is just so, like, it's, it's tripping me out, bro. This dude, see, the clown is crazy. So he's powering the fuck up. Louie's running away. So he's like, yeah. Fuck my, no, he goes on his support and rampage. We just starts mad killing motherfuckers. The entire time the people up there are like, huh, you know what? Let's not, let's not close these. Let's let more of this shit come in. Yes. But Caesar, he's a betrayer. Usopp. Like, you know, they're doing that shit like that. Which is basically Usopp saying, let me behind the control panel. And so basically, Luffy goes, and he goes to the end of the fucking hallway, and there's the gas. And then he does gear third. Giant arms. He's and then he starts running after Caesar. Does some armament hot. You know he does some armament hard, hardening. Hardening. You know he uses some hockey hockey's fuck up. Giant ass black balls behind him. Like yeah, just going through this fucking tunnel. I get. And then he gets up to Caesar Cloud's face. Caesar Cloud, what the fuck? Oh, Luffy, it's time to go. Like. Then. Then he says Grizzly Magnum, because that's that's entitled that's actually the name of this episode, like the strongest smack fuck it, Grizzly Magnum, fuck it, don't care. The thing about it is they hit, you know, Luffy just yeah, pushes them forward. And then Caesar Clown's able to match the strength. And then the entire time while they're pushing, like having the fucking push war, Caesar Clown is starting to use his um Shinokuni to since so it's in this, like, basically he's made of it now, he's, he's controlling it, it's like his body parts now, you know, technically speaking, and he's only able to touch Caesar because of the hockey, otherwise his hand would have went through. That, then we got all types of fucked up. Basically, it's hardening it and giving it that weight, you know, it's crack, it's hardening the shit out of it. So his hands, you know, they got a time limit. Once it starts hitting his real body, that's when, that's when just gonna, you know, like, it's gonna start going up eventually. And you don't want that, because that movie will be screwed. And so basically the entire time movie's just powering up, powering up, just yeah, just, you know, adding more force behind it. And Caesar Clown's like just pushing his hands back. And it's like, oh fuck, I'm I lost, I lost this shit. And you just see Caesar Clown make this fucking face like Luffy, <laughs> Luffy, you know you could be my support, you could be my underling, right? And I was like, yo, this, this nigga know we done. This nigga know we done. Luffy just pushes right through this nigga's hands into his body. It's hockey, so it fucking touches him. He's like, ah. See, your clown's done. Goes, goes, goes flying through a fucking door. In skyrockets. Into darkness. Down a hallway. Wait till next episode. Just wait. Luffy sent this nigga fine. Now then. Not gonna lie. It was okay. The animation behind it. I mean, come on. I mean, the only real, like, animation that they added besides these niggas holding, like, pushing at each other was, like, constant little bursts of airwaves. And that was it, like, and it was just, like, a couple times. Like, just, just little streaks through the animation. Like, little waves. And that was, like, it. Like, you know, I mean, of course, Luffy's face, like, yeah, just, just, you know, forcing it. But still... I don't know, it just, it just didn't seem like as badass as it should have been. It was still pretty cool, but you know, it could have been much more badass, in my sense. Like, oh my 
picture, they fucking, they touch, and then there's like a spark of energy just flies in the sky, and it's like, yeah, she's a clown, oh, just like force and shit, why not? It would, it would have been better than a couple air puffs, like, tch, tch, like, oh no, though, but when that nigga, when that, after he got hit with it, though, that's when the shit started getting real, and the impact came, because, you know, normally you'd think, like, you know, the big extent, like, you know, going, like, a couple, like, maybe, like, 50, no, no, 500 meters away, way higher than that, possibly, and then that momentum, just coming at him, would have been enough to fucking crush this nigga's hands, but no, apparently added more push pressure to that, I'm not gonna go into the chemistry of it, all I know is that, fucking went through Caesar, hit this nigga, and he broke through this giant ass fucking door, it got sent skyrocketing down a hallway into darkness. Entire time, face, nigga's face, he, he done. Oh, yes. I don't see Caesar getting black up. But if he does, we'll have to see. We'll have to see. But you know what? With that being said, I, I had to get this up over here. A 9.1 out of 10. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it, it was better than good. I will give it better than I'll, I'll say it's great. I'll say it was a great episode. Because... Law. Law really, really got this episode. Like, yo, he was like, fuck you, Virgo. Shh. Virgo giving a key piece of information, which is actually somewhat really important for the story. That we should probably know in the future. We got Usopp standing up for his fucking captain. Hell yeah. And of course, we got Luffy sending Caesar Clown through a fucking door. Shh. Nigga done. Shh. Nigga done. I'm saying, all I'm saying, nigga, done. Hopefully, hopefully, at least, hopefully, he will be done. But yeah, let's let's use hopefully he'll be done. And so, with that being said, Smith's a motherfucking R. Peace the fuck out.